I'm here with Ari Smith. Sorry? S Steven Smith. Steven Smith. Yes. From Smith Research. Smith Research. And yes. he has an amazing product here. And could you tell me a little bit about it? Well, it's basically a, a portable sound room. So it's a, it's a virtualizer, headphone virtualizer. The idea being that you want to reproduce surround sound over headphones. And of course, there's been a few attempts at that over the years. Uh, the Dolby headphone being an example of one. And basically, if you want to put on headphones and you want to externalize what we call virtual speakers, and it ends out that you need to personalize that for the individual listener. So, the, uh, what we've got here is the, the Realizer A8. Basically, this is an 8-channel uh, virtualizer, and it has all of the uh, personalization capability built in. And the idea is you, you would uh, use this box to capture the uh, response of a surround sound speaker system in a particular sound room. So the, the, the owner would take this box, he'll put, head, he'll put little microphones in his ears, and he'll sit down in, this, in the sound room, in the sweet spot, and this box will, will generate all of the uh, test tones and everything that's required, and it's a very automated process. And when you're finished with that, you have this personalized file. And that file you loaded into the box, you put on the headphones, and all of a sudden, you're back in that sound room. So you then for can take this box, you can take that file, you can take it back to your own home, you can take it anywhere you want. And when you put on those headphones, you're back in that exact same headroom. And it doesn't sound like you're wearing headphones at all. It doesn't, because it externalizes the sound so accurately that you perceive the sound to be coming from the original speakers, not from the headphone at all. And, uh, and, and really that's, that's one thing that everyone comments on, is that they're always wondering why is there no sound from the headphones. And you can even move your head left and right and the image still well, stays dead center in front of you. Absolutely, and if, if, you, if you think of what, how you listen to speakers, when you listen to speakers, when you turn your head, the speakers don't move. Right. But of course, if you did it normally with headphones, sound moves with headphones. So we have this uh, head tracking system, and uh, you can see it here. This is the head tracker, and it communicates with the set top up here, and you can see there it, it moves the lights. And the idea here is that this is uh, keeping a track off your head position. And when you turn left, it basically turns the sound stage right, so that the, 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 the final uh, thing is zero, as it is with real sound. So of course, head tracking is a necessity if you want to have very realistic externalization. If you don't have head tracking, the problem is that the, the brain will hear a sound field which is rotating, and that's a very unnatural thing. And so a rotating sound field tends to collapse into your head, which is why the old technologies like Dolby Headphone always had difficulty trying to get out of your head, it was because they had lacked head tracking. And of course the other thing we, we knew was personalization. And so the, the, the idea of you sitting in the real room, getting measured, that's also a key part of our technology, because that makes a dramatic difference to the thing. Now you haven't heard it right now, but when you go into that demo room and you hear the personalization, you will know what I'm talking about. Really? I can't wait. So are you in the inventor of this? Yes. Wow, that's exciting. Well, thank you so much for showing that to me. No problem.